Hey, Arvind Sanger is managing partner at Geosphere Capital Management. Arvind, good morning. Good to have you with us here. Thanks for waiting. Uh, how much of this GDP shocker is in the price, Arvind? Well, uh, look, the GDP, uh, uh, we've been saying for months now that the economy was so showing signs of a slowdown. And we were seeing it, forget before the earnings came in, we could see it in as varied data as uh, some of the auto sales, CV sales, uh, FMCG sales. We could see it even in government tax collections. All of those were giving us sign, even electricity demand. All, electric, all of these were showing signs of a stress in the economy and then the earnings number. So for some reason, the economists, I guess, were a little slow. So I don't think it's a big shocker, uh, but I think it just uh, raises the question, what does RBI do? And what does uh, you know the, the central government do? Uh, we've talked about CapEx numbers continue to disappoint in October. Uh, we'll have to see. I think November is already over, so I'm not sure if they had time enough to respond. So we've lost two months already of the December quarter. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens from here. Uh, the, the question, you know, you were raising the question, or Lata was raising the question about FII selling. My question is, how much are domestic investors impervious to economic fundamentals? Is this a Tina market where there is no alternative? You know, that, that's been the reason why money has been flowing in. If there is one risk I see in the market, it is uh, domestic retail investors waking up and smelling the coffee and starting to worry a little bit. But otherwise, you know, I think, uh, uh, you know, the economic bad news is not going to get any worse from this GDP growth, but it doesn't mean that's going to be a V-shaped rebound. Okay. Um, uh, hi, uh, uh, you know, Arvind, good to have you on. So the question really here is, that is it going to be another big dampener for the equity market or kind of heard this story before in different parts we've all been through the q2 season right it's been there it's it's so evident but uh, could this be a fresh negative I mean, or maybe a positive if we suddenly start expecting the rbi to move faster what does this mean for equities i think rbi moving faster is a positive uh, i think uh, to the extent that the uh, central government moves faster that's a positive to the extent that there are some tariffs introduced uh, on steel and others, you know, imports which have been flooding in, that would be a positive. So I think, yes, it could turn out to be the prodding that the system needs to take a more urgent, you know, but on the other hand, you have, uh, you know, MFI, it's slow down, you have uh, RBI still uh, cracking down on a lot of unsecured loans. So, you know, there are, there are a few headwinds that are not going to go away. But on the other hand, there could be some signs of uh, positive. So we'd like to see more of a concerted effort to get the economy out of the ditch. Uh, and that, I think, would be a positive for uh, for equities. Hi, Arvind. Morning. Good to see you, Vin. So what are you uh, factoring in then? You know, that rate cut, the repo rate cut comes in only next year. And in the near term, we see some tinkering with the CRR or OMO purchases. Would that be the way to work with? Near term, CRR cooling off, OMO purchases. And maybe that rate cut now is a short come the February meeting? Yeah, all of those, I think, are the central case. Those don't get us, you know, uh, pounding the table bullish. I think mm -hmm. we'd like to see more action from the central government in the shorter term. And obviously, RBI, you know, taking a little bit of a, uh, you know, ease, easing in terms of CRR would be helpful. But I think, uh, you know, if the, if the December quarter, fiscal third quarter numbers are uh, are shaping up to be also similarly disappointing uh, like the uh, September quarter just went by, then I'm not sure there's a great rush to rush into the market with both, you know, both hands uh, uh, grabbing stocks. But I think patiently buying uh, into what hopefully is the trough in what I call a mid-cycle slowdown. If that's where we are, then patiently buying into this is what we're looking for. And, and hopefully we'll get the right signs uh, from uh, from both RBI, but also uh, from the fiscal side, uh, and and you know some of the import tariffs and other things that might be helpful in the short term. But you know the the global cues are also something to watch in terms of Trump's uh, President Trump's somewhat you know unconventional and very unpredictable policy. And while that's not as big a risk for India as it as it is for other much more U.S. export dependent economies. Yes. Uh, but India cannot take its eye, you know, completely off the ball on that front because, uh, you know, uh, President Trump is somewhat uh, 
more non-discriminatory in some of his uh, some of his possible actions. All right, uh, Arvind, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure and uh, good uh, good chat as always.